Consult a physician before starting this or any exercise program. Come on, five more. Four. Three. Last two. and also it makes you look like you have a nice tiny waist. Yeah. You like that, right? I like that. <laughs> the, um, when you're training in the gym, most machines have a little explanation chart on there which helps you learn how to use each machine. And if you're not lucky enough to have a personal trainer, which I get a play today, I'm gonna be the girl's personal trainer, then it's a good idea to make reference to the chart. Okay, you guys ready to train back? Ready. Okay, let me show you how this machine works. Seated comfortably, put your feet on the foot rest back up, keep the elbows back. It's almost like you're trying to squeeze your elbows straight down to the ground, exhaling as you're pulling down, inhaling on the way up, getting the full range of motion. Okay, see Anita, go in there first. Three to four sets, 10 to 15 repetitions. Notice her back is up flat. Elbows back, perfect. It's really important to squeeze your back, right? Right. You get that extra flex right in through here. So this exercise works the lats from the underarm down to the waist, the entire lat area. Perfect. I really like to work my back because it really makes my, I, I really do, I have a small waist mm -hmm. already, so it really helps me to get that real V shape. Yeah. When I move her hair so you at home can see her beautiful you know back. <laughs> Great. And all the secondary muscle groups that are worked here are the shoulders, the biceps, and the forearms. Uh-huh. Three more. Two. And last one. Great. Okay. I got it Your turn, Shannon. Now, if you are just starting to train, in a gym, it's a good idea to hire a personal trainer, at least so you can get the proper form down. I know it's a lot of fun learning, learning extra little tips. Make sure you go all the way down, Shannon, as far as you can. It's important to get the complete range of motion on this exercise. You want to keep your back straight, right? Right, your back is straight. Exhaling all the way down. Now, Shannon, what I want you to do is Hold it down just a beat and really squeeze right down here, and then release. There you go. Great. Exhale you and focus squeeze. Focus on the muscles that you're working. It's a mental thing. <laughs> so your brain's tired and your muscles are tired at the end of the day. How does it feel? A few more. So they're warming up with 40 pounds, a lighter weight, higher repetitions, and as the exercises move on, we'll increase the weight. As they get warmed up, we're ready to go. Right. I'll increase it for you. <laughs> okay. Next exercise is the mid row. Move down here. Now this exercise is terrific for the middle area of the back and also the rear delt. Uh, put it on three. But notice there's two different hand grips. Because we're training the back with the wide grip, we'll stick with the wide grip. Tummy's tight. Keeping the elbows high. And you want to squeeze your back, right? Right, it's almost like, as Sean says, almost like pulling the elbows together, pinching the elbows together. Get this one? Okay. Lower it for you. Jump in there, Anita. When you're training in the gym, it's a good idea to keep a journal and keep a record of the weight you use, the seat height adjustments, um, the body parts you're training. It's kind of like a diary. Yeah, good idea. Who you met in the I gym? Like to write down <laughs> what I'm going to do. That way, when you go there, you do it and you know what you're going to do and you keep having done something. Right. You have a plan. It's organized. It's organized. Okay, notice here Anita's keeping her elbows high, exhaling on the way in. Elbows back, pulling. Perfect. How's that feel? Okay. Yeah, good. Great. 
Now the role of the personal trainer is to motivate and help you keep your um, exercises interesting. Help you add a nice variety to your workout. A couple more. And if I want to help spotter, I'm right here. Do one more. Okay, great. Okay. Shannon's turn. Feeling it already. <clears throat> Feel it? Yeah. Okay, now, Anita, I want to show you how to spot her. Right here, just a little help. Real, real slightly. Just a little bit. Great. Coming your way on Kiana's Flex Appeal, it's a tremendous tricep workout that you can do right at home. So don't touch that remote control because we'll be right back right after this. shaping exercise. I like to combine the heavy weight lifting exercises with the shaping exercise. So basically I'm pushing with the shoulders, pushing with the elbows, just back. And like that. I can really feel it when I'm done. And like your posture just feels a lot better when you're done doing this exercise. Oh, definitely. Especially with the lighter weights and high reps. Right. Okay, Nita. And what works best for me on this exercise is almost Stick your chest out just a little bit so you can get that extra flex. Head straight ahead. Great. You can really see it working right in through here. Spotters, you're right here. Little squeeze. How's that feel? Um, I can really feel it when I'm squeezing. A couple more. And last one. Come on, come on, Nita. Good. Great. Now we've shown you the lat pull down, the mid row, and now the back fly. It's important that your body's in proper alignment, like in all the exercises we show you here on Flex the Field. The head and shoulders, back straight, and exhaling as you're squeezing the arms together. Perfect. And three more. And again, if she needs a spot, helping her right in through here. Two more. And last one. Great job, Shannon. Thank you. Okay, let's get started uh, back with the last pull down. And don't go anywhere, because we're almost done. <laughs> it's easy to train your back right at the gym. The pull downs add to the sweep of the lats that looks so nice. In contrast to a V-tapered back, the waist looks even firmer and smaller. The mid-row exercise is excellent for adding thickness to the back. Get the complete range of motion and fully contract the back muscles. The back flies add to the attractiveness of the back and the rear delts come into play as well. Try these three exercises and you'll be looking awesome. It's easy to train your triceps at home. All you need is an easy curl bar, a count of fitness bench, some dumbbells, and a body flex gym. Chris is getting started with the overhead extension. Now this exercise is excellent for the tricep. It works the area all the way from the elbow down to the lat, the entire tricep area. Notice Chris's grip. When he's doing the tricep extension, he's got his thumbs on the same side as his fingers. That's the proper way to do it. You don't want to have your thumb on the opposite side. You want to have it on the same side as your fingers. Now this is a terrific exercise, not only for the entire tricep area, but also for the inner chest. Good job, Chris. Now after he's burned out doing these, he'll move on to the close grip bench. Which is right now. 
voilà. <laughs> now here he's keeping his elbows nice and tight next to the body. Bringing the bar down slowly, right to the chest, and exhaling on the way up. What I find works best for me on this exercise, at the top, I really flex at the top. Squeeze it at yeah. the top. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Really pump it out. On a few more. Three, Three two, and one. Oh, take it right. away. Got it. Thanks, Rosie's turn. No, no. <laughs> Come on, Rosie, let's do it. You want a spotter? Sure. Now, Rosie's using the dumbbells, which makes it a little bit easier. And actually, Rosie, I want you to bring right. your elbows back here. Further bring up. it right down to your forehead. There you go. Oh, boy. And this is working again, right in through here, the tricep. What's nice about training at home is whatever your yeah, level is, you can get a beginner, intermediate, or advanced right. workout right at home. Now, I have dumbbells at home. I've got the benches, the, the power stand, um, incline, decline bench. It's really all you need to get a good workout in. Now, notice the basic form in this exercise. Rosie has her feet flat on the bench, her tummy tight, her back flat, no arch, and her elbows are staying stationary, lowering the weight slowly so her forearms at a 90 degree. Now, when you do this exercise, make sure to lower the weight slowly to protect the elbow. It's very important. Okay, now, after you finish this exercise, you want to go into the close grip bench. Now, it's the same exercise that Chris did with the easy curl bar, but she's using the dumbbells. All right. Perfect. Elbows nice and tight. That puts more of the uh, focus on the tricep. Yeah, I can see You also get some inner chest in there, too. Great. You need a little spot. I can come right down here below the elbow and just help her out. Yeah. Feel that extra burn. Good job, Rosie. Looks great. Now, remember, if you are training at home, it's a good idea to train a little bit lighter for safety reasons, or if you want, invite a friend over and train with a partner. Good job. One more, Rosie. Speed it up. Can you feel that? Good job. Yeah. That All felt right. pretty good. Look at that. Can you it's help me strip this off? What do you think, Rosie? It felt pretty good. I, noticed, I did this the other day, and I really felt the difference. Okay, what Chris and I are doing, we're stripping the weight down for me. Because I'm littler, I can't do quite as much weight as Chris, so I'm gonna start off here with the lying tricep extension. Feet on the bench, back flat. Thumbs on the same side as the fingers. Elbows high. Got it. Got it. Bringing the weight down to the forehead and exhaling up. Let's go, Kiana, good job. If I was a spotter, I'd just be in here and just help touch the back of her hands up. Well, nice form, Kiana. She's got her elbows tucked in nice and tight. Nice. Good job. Just squeezing at the top, a little extra chest. Good job. And nice. Close grip bench. Good job. I think this is the reason why she always beats me on the tennis courts, these triceps. <laughs> now you know her secret. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Good job. Thanks. I got you. And in between exercises, it's a good idea to stretch out the triceps, bring it right by your ear. Nice, slow, easy stretch, pulling the elbow. That's right, strong triceps will help your tennis game. The lying tricep extension is a great exercise for the entire tricep area, all the way from the elbow to the lats. Do three to four sets, 10 to 15 repetitions. Give your triceps a real treat and finish off with a set of the close grip bench. Both of these exercises can be done with dumbbells or an easy curl bar. Make sure and do these exercises with a slow, controlled movement to protect the elbows. Lifting weights makes you feel great.
don't feel like lifting weights, grab a few friends and maybe play some water volleyball. Come on. strong legs, you need a strong upper body to win at water volleyball. The pec deck for the chest combined with the tricep extension for the back of the arms will give you added strength. Do three to four sets, 10 to 15 repetitions of each exercise. And really pump up those shoulders with the shoulder press for added power. You'll score in and out of the pool. Cruising your way on a future Kiana's Flex Appeal, Sean and I get busy chiseling our chest with the Pro Gym equipment. Check this out. Now, I like to put, <clears throat> I cross my legs at the top to force my lower back down on the bench. It's more comfortable for me. Beginners, we suggest keeping your feet on the ground, and as you get more advanced, put your feet on the bench and then cross your ankles. Now we're moving on to one of my favorite machines called the Pec Deck. This is one of the best shaping exercises you can do. For men, it helps square off the chest area. And for women, it can give you that nice cleavage. Can I say that? Cleavage? And men, okay. <laughs> and men that's true. Looks like it's sexist, <laughs> Now notice here he's got the proper position. He's got his, his um, upper arm and forearm at a 90 degree angle. One of my very favorite body parts to train are my calves. I like to train my abs and my calves every day using a variety of different exercises. But for calves in particular, I like to do standing calf raises, seated calf raises, and donkeys. But if your gym doesn't have a seated calf raise machine, all you need is a little creativity. Watch this. And up, and down. Nice and slow. Up, down. Get the full range of motion. Up on your toe. Drop the heel below the toe. Get the full stretch. We're working the calves. Now, most of you have probably seen a seated calf raise in the gym, but if you don't have one, Sean and I have used a little creativity and made our own. Got our foot up on an apple box and a plate on the ball of the toe. And I have a 25-pound plate on my leg. Getting a great calf workout, starting with a single calf raise. We're gonna do 15 on the right leg, 15 on the left, and then we'll do both legs together. It's important to train your calves to use a variety of different toe positions. Right now, we're in the neutral toe position, working the overall calf area. And I find what works best for me is to train calves every day. I do four to six sets, high repetition, sometimes high, uh, heavy weight, sometimes lighter weight. Now, Sean's got the big plate on his leg. So we'll do two more, and last one, and we'll switch to the left leg. Ready? Oh, yeah. And up. And down. We're to inhale as you get the stretch. Exhale as you go up on your toes. Keep the weight centered on top of the knee, on top of the quad of the calf that you're working. Notice our form. Our knee is right over the ankle. Proper alignment. We always emphasize form first here on Flex Appeal. We get five more. Four. Feel it burning. Three. I think I should have got a lighter plate. Two. <laughs> and last one. Hold it up. Now we use both legs together. Plate across both, evenly weighted. And press it up. Back straight. Sean's abs are showing. Tummy tight. Shoulders back. And exhale up. Get 15. I like to do each calf exercise one immediately after the other to really burn out the calves. And pump it up. Nothing looks better than a great pair of calves. So remember, 
It's important to train the entire leg, not just the quad, not just the hamstrings, but also the lower leg as well. Okay, five more. Five, counting them down. Four. Three, looks good, Sean. Two, and last one. Pull it up. Ouch, and down. Okay. back in the gym. Start off with three to four sets of the pull downs for that nice V taper. Make sure and keep the elbows back, the back straight, and chin up. Move on to the mid row to add overall thickness to the back and to shape the rear delts. And talk about shaping, a terrific shaping exercise for the back is the back fly. Do three to four sets of each exercise and you've got an awesome back workout and pump up the volume and train at home. Get an awesome tricep workout in using a light pair of dumbbells. Start off with the lying tricep extension. Do three to four sets, 10 to 15 repetitions for the overall tricep area. Finish off your tricep workout with the close grip bench press. Remember to have your thumbs on the same side as your fingers, elbows tight into the body, extending on the way up in a nice, slow, controlled movement. Training with weights usually means exercising indoors, but when the weather's nice, it's great to get outside, get some sun, and sweat. It's easy to make fitness your lifestyle when it's fun, and cross-training allows you the chance to strengthen your body with a variety of sports, spend time with friends, and get a little competition going. So get some sun, and don't forget your sunscreen. And don't neglect your calves. The calves respond the best to high repetitions. Three to four sets, 15 to 20 repetitions, and you'll be looking great.